tell us a little bit about the uh, trajectory you've had um, so, that, so that we get a sense of, of how you moved from a solidly middle class background uh, through being the CEO of Palm uh, and and getting t and and growing your wealth base. How did that happen? And and is there a connection to you being an entrepreneur to your views about inherited wealth? Well, uh, sure. There's there's definitely a connection there. I mean, I, I mean, my story is I went. I came to Yale. I uh, had never really been exposed to education like this. I went to a very poor public high school where I did not get a good education. So where I, was that? In Benton Harbor, Michigan, and I came here totally unprepared for the academic rigor of Yale. Um, not like you guys today, where you get so much great prep to come here. Um, I. I was really, it was a struggle for me in my first couple of years here to figure out how to study and how to write papers and all those kind of things. Um, but I just thrived in it. I just loved it. I, I loved this place. I loved everything I could learn from it. And uh, then I went out into the working world for a couple of years. I went to a bank in Philadelphia as a trainee and loved the business world and decided that's where I wanted to focus. I went back to business school at Harvard and, and got my MBA. And I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. I um, had been in the bank, and I'd seen um, entrepreneurs in action. And I, I got kind of excited then about entrepreneurship. It was uh, mainly cable TV systems. It was, you probably can't relate to this, but in the very, very beginning of cable TV, when they were just installing it, it was a very entrepreneurial venture, small guys doing it town by town by town. And I was financing them, so I got to know them and really appreciate them. And I decided that I was really interested in, in entrepreneurial activities. And then um, Apple Computer came to campus to recruit the first time they ever came to Harvard Business School. Uh, they were interviewing for technical people. I was not a technical person, so they didn't accept me for an interview. But uh, I went and sat outside the interview room all day. And every time the interviewer came out and said, you know, I had to reintroduce myself to her and say, I'm here to see you. And she'd say, well, you're not on my schedule. And I'd say, oh, I know, but I need to talk to you because I really need to come work for Apple. So uh, by the end of the day, she agreed to sit down and talk to me. And I ended up being the only person who was hired uh, from the Harvard Business School to go to Apple. So it was kind of interesting. And I ended up in a logistics role, an operations role. I won't go through all the details because it goes on and on. Uh, but um, I just, I loved the fast pace, I loved the innovation, I loved, it was a crazy time at Apple, I mean just hyper growth and I got responsibility very quickly and uh, just really got a taste for uh, on the entrepreneurial and innovative and product innovation, all those things. So uh, I wanted to stick with that. Uh, when I left Apple, I took a year off and, and decided that I really wanted to try to run something. I felt like I had um, the skills to be a CEO. I wanted to try to be a CEO. And I came back specifically looking for a CEO opportunity in a s very small startup. And that's when I met my business partner, Jeff, who I'm now on my third company with and uh, as co-founder Palm. And then, you know, back to kind of circle back to the wealth question, um, you know, joining a startup and getting a, a piece of it is uh, certainly how you have an opportunity to build wealth. So. Uh, now, I was hired at Palm as the CEO, so I got kind of a percentage as a CEO. Um, and then in our second company, I was a co-founder. So I had a significantly higher percentage of the second company as a co-founder. And then, ironically enough, we sold the second company back to the first company, <laughs> and I ended up with more of Palm the second time around than I had the first time around, which I always loved. Um, but yeah, that's, that's how it happened. And then the, you know, the company went public and did well, and so I did well. Um, and uh, that's the story.